COVID-19 and accessibility, two major issues prevalent in our society today. When using the COVID-19 self-assessment tool, our team noticed one major vulnerability. It wasn't accessible for individuals with disabilities, and especially for the visually impaired. To combat this issue, our team developed a COVID-19 self-assessment system accessible for the visually impaired. Using Python, we implemented a text-to-speech feature to make this possible. First off, we'll begin with the technical components involved. Three libraries were used to complete this project. Speech recognition, Pi Audio, and PYTTSX3. Pi Audio activates a microphone to record what the user is saying. Then, speech recognition sends a recording to an internet-based third party, like Google, to interpret the recording. PYTTSX3 is a text-to-speech function, which allows for the computer to speak to the user based on the statement or questions written throughout the code. The questions are grouped into emergency questions and simple questions. If an undesirable answer is given to a simple question, which includes questions about mild symptoms and traveling, the program will present a stay-at-home order at the end of the assessment. For an emergency question, such as severe symptoms, an undesirable answer will present a prompt to call 911 and end the program. If all answers are desirable, the program will notify the user that they are safe to go outside. Welcome to the COVID-19 self-assessment. You will be asked a series of questions. Please respond with get started. Get started. Please answer yes or no to the following questions. Are you currently experiencing any of these symptoms? Severe difficulty breathing, severe chest pain, feeling confused or unsure of where you are, losing consciousness? No. Are you currently experiencing any of these symptoms? Fever and chills, cough, sore throat, headache, muscle pain? Yes. Are your symptoms normal for any medical conditions you may have? No. In the last 14 days, have you been in close physical contact with someone who either is currently sick with a new cough, fever, difficulty breathing, or other symptoms associated with COVID-19? This does not apply if you have been vaccinated in the last 48 hours. Otherwise, have you returned from outside of Canada in the last two weeks? Yes. In the last 14 days, have you traveled outside of Canada? If exempt from federal quarantine requirements, for example, an essential worker who crosses the Canada-US border regularly for work, select no. No. Based on your answers, we recommend that you get tested because you have symptoms or are a close contact of someone who currently has COVID-19. Follow the advice of public health if you have already been tested or cleared. Our guidelines for children and adults continue to evolve as we learn more about COVID-19, how it spreads, and how it affects people in different ways.